Laverne and Shirley was one of the most watched American sitcoms of all time, and it received acclaim from audiences and critics alike. It was created by Gary Marshall, Lowell Gans, and Mark Rothman. But the true success of the show came from the excellent cast members. Sadly, many of them have since passed away. Join Facts First to learn how each Laverne and Shirley cast member died and their incredible legacies. Penny Marshall Penny Marshall was born October 15, 1943, in the Bronx. She came from a show business family as her mother was a tap dance teacher and her father made technical films and later became a film producer. Both her brothers later became producers and her brother Gary became the creator of Laverne and Shirley. After briefly working as a choreographer, she moved to LA, where Gary was living and had become involved with TV production. She began appearing in commercials and it wasn't long until the acting bug bit her. She had a small role in the film How Sweet It Is which was co-written by Gary. She later won the role of Myrna in The Odd Couple, a popular sitcom produced by Gary. But her big break came when she was cast as Laverne in Laverne and Shirley. Her character was a rough-talking Italian-American who lives with Shirley as the two ladies try to navigate life. She won praise for her role in the show, which became her best-known acting role. Penny Marshall focused mainly on directing later in her career. Some of her biggest directing hits included the films Big, Awakenings, The Preacher's Wife, and Riding in Cars with Boys. She died in LA at age 75 on December 17, 2018 due to a combination of cardiopulmonary failure, atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, and diabetes mellitus type 1. Before we tell you more about the Laverne and Shirley cast members who have died, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. David Lander David Lander was born as David Landau on June 22, 1947, in Brooklyn. He studied acting at the High School for the Performing Arts in New York City and studied further at NYU and Carnegie Tech. In college, he became friends with Michael McKeon, and the duo created the characters Lenny and Squiggy. Eventually, both were cast in Laverne and Shirley to play these characters. Helmet Squiggy Squigman is what made David Lander a big star. He had a prolific career on television and appeared in shows as varied as The Bob Newhart Show, Barney Miller, Married with Children, and Happy Days. He also had a great film career, appearing in films like A Bug's Life, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and Christmas with the Cranks. Later in life, Lander was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and became a spokesperson to find funding to research treatment. He published his autobiography in 2002, in which he discussed his career as well as how he's lived his life with MS. He died from complications due to the illness on December 4th, 2020, at age 73 in Los Angeles. Eddie Mecca Edward Rudolph Mechian was born on June 14, 1952, in Worcester, Massachusetts. He studied at the Berklee College of Music and started his career performing at the Worcester County Light Opera. Here, he taught young people to sing, helping them in their journeys to become stars. But he was also eager to become a star himself. He acted on Broadway in a play called The Lieutenant, which brought him much acclaim. He later auditioned for the role of Carmine Ragusa in Laverne and Shirley and landed it. This was the role that made him a huge star, and it became the role he's most known for. For. He had a prolific career in film and TV, appearing in films such as Bum Rap, Beaches, Silver Twins, and Hail Mary. He also appeared in shows such as Family Matters, California Dreams, The Jamie Foxx Show, and Children's Hospital. One of his best-known theater roles was as Tevia in a 2010 production of Fiddler on the Roof. He also worked alongside his Laverne and Shirley co-star Cindy Williams in a play called It Had to Be You in 2008. He died November 27, 2021, at age 69 in Santa Clara, California. Phil Foster Phil Foster was born as Five O Feldman on March 29, 1913, in Brooklyn. As a young boy, he began performing on stage and in amateur shows and sometimes on the street. In fact, early on in his career, he performed alongside Jackie Gleason, who was also up and coming at the time. As he became an adult, he began performing in every play he could to earn money. He also began performing stand-up comedy at local nightclubs to make a few hundred dollars a week. He eventually became such a hugely popular comic that he toured the country performing his shows. He later served in the Second World War and performed in variety shows during his stint in the Army. He also made short films for Universal International. Upon his return from the Army, he was working mostly as a comedy writer. He got back in touch with his friend Gary Marshall, who got him a role in Laverne and Shirley. He played Frank DeFazio, and this was the role for which he was best remembered. He also had a short film career and appeared in films such as The Patsy, The Happy Hooker Goes to Washington, and Texas Godfather. He died from a heart attack in California on July 8, 1980. 85 at age 72. Betty Garrett Betty Garrett was born May 23, 1919, in St. Joseph, Missouri. She and her family moved to Washington, and she attended the Annie Wright School in Tacoma. 
She became interested in drama at the time and began organizing plays and musical performances. She studied acting as an adult and learned dance, singing, as well as classical drama. Her early acting roles were in stage plays. She also appeared in Broadway plays such as Of V We Sing and Something for the Boys. She began her film career in the 1940s. Her prominent films included Big City, My Sister Eileen, Trail of the Screaming Forehead, and Dark and Stormy Night. In the 70s, she landed her two most well-known roles. She first played Irene Lorenzo, on All in the Family, which made her a huge star. She further solidified her fame with the role of Edna Babish in Laverne and Shirley. She later appeared in TV shows like Becker, Murder, She Wrote, and The Golden Girls. She died of an aortic aneurysm February 12, 2011, at the age of 91 in L.A. Surviving Cast Members Now let's catch up with the surviving main Laverne and Shirley cast members. Cindy Williams Cindy Williams was the co-star of the show. Her character, Shirley Feeney, was partially a creation of her own. She and Penny Marshall met before the show and were originally considered to write for it. Their excellent chemistry in real life made them perfect to play the duo on Laverne and Shirley. She also had an extensive film career and appeared in films such as The Killing Kind, American Graffiti, and The Biggest Fan. She occasionally makes appearances in popular TV shows. Her most recent TV role was in the 2016 TV film A Dream of Christmas. Michael McKeon Michael McKeon began his professional career working with David Lander, performing as the duo Lenny and Squiggy. He became popular when he played Lenny on Laverne and Shirley. Following the end of the show, he continued to work regularly in film and TV. His film credits include 1941, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Radioland Murders, Whatever Works, and Playing God. As of 2022, he's wrapped up working on a new movie called Jerry and Marge Go Large. His other notable TV credits include Saturday Night Live and recurring roles on The Nanny, Friends, the Closer, Family Tree, Veep, and Helpsters. His most recent TV role was in a 2022 episode of the show Billions. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on Laverne and Shirley? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Factsverse as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Factsverse, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99.